Okay, Mike. I uh, appreciate you coming on for the PettyAndReady.com video blog. My pleasure. It's the first one, so with you. Yeah. And um, i just going to ask you a few questions. Mm -hmm. Let people know a little bit about what's going on sure. with Ready Osport and what we're doing. But the first question is, uh, did you ever have any ideas? Did you ever think that you'd own a team first off and then on a team have your son drive for you? Your dad's now in, you. Your dad's driven. Now me. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's insane. No, I never, never would have dreamt it in a million years. It's just so funny how things happen over time, and uh, but it's been so cool. You know, I think you know. I've always said one of the things that I think really has made my career more special than most is that you know all the moments that we've not just the successes, but more of the moments of family that we've shared, you know, together. I mean, you know, we were the first four-member family with Brother Jeff and you at Indy and, uh, you know, being on the podium, all in Dreddy Podium in Milwaukee and, you know, and then now on a team and have, like you said, Marco being on a team. I drove with Marco and, uh, you know, those two years in 06 and 07, which was probably the two most special races that I ever did and, uh, you know, now have you on this team driving for us and like you said I forgot about dad even driving one of our cars and going for a little flight uh, at Indianapolis but uh, yeah it's 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 pretty crazy and I never never would have thought it. Is it a blessing or is it? <laughs> Sometimes it's both. <laughs> <There's> a, <laughs> with every good there's a bad right you know it's uh, sometimes the family thing is a little tough especially when it was a father-son thing I think more than anything because you know son always knows more than the father right and, uh, but it's 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 gotten a lot better as the years have gone on and uh, you know but I would never trade any of it with uh, with me coming on board it's also brought another our legend Richard Petty as oh, I thought you meaning you the legend um, another legend uh, another yes yeah, so yeah. two legends <laughs> in one that's a pretty good deal <laughs> one in his own mind yeah, the right. one in everybody <laughs> else's one <laughs> real real legend and one in his own mind um do you, what do you think about having Richard oh, I think it's cool I think Richard's just an awesome guy he's a great person number one and uh you know to have him a part of it's really cool and special and you know he just brings so much to the party and uh uh you know I'm hoping we can have a good result for him at Indianapolis I don't think he's really had many and and it'd be cool for you to get the first good one for me. Yeah, in the 43 again. In the 43, yeah. You say that you don't miss being a driver, but when it gets around this time of the year, is there any something deep down maybe that's there? Not at all. I mean, in fact, I'm like, I'm thinking this year, it's like, God, I'm glad I don't have to qualify on, <laughs> on Saturday <laughs> with the way the new format is. It's like, God, he's going to be the most miserable time to be a driver, I think. And, uh, so, no, I really don't. I mean, I think I'm really lucky that I did everything on my own terms. Because if I really wanted to, I could do it, you know. But I, I just, I, I really have no desire, you know. I'm happy with the new role and, and happy with what I did in the past. And, and uh, no regrets at all about being in a car. But being a driver, um, you know how we think. Mm -hmm. Now you're an owner. You should be worried about qualifying. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Especially yeah, that's because you're hanging it off the ends. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess when you you know how it is when your driver just so much pressure on you yourself, you know, and you know when you got to go hang it out there, you know, putting it on the edge for those four laps, and now you probably have to do it twelve laps you know, or more, you know. So, um, I, uh, it's a different type of pressure, you know. Yeah, it's more a worry, but that's out of my control. But when there's something in your control. That's when you know the pressure's on, and so I'm not going to be feeling that. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I talked about the pressure, and it's because it's the Indianapolis 500 is what brings the additional pressure. But what's special? How can you describe race morning? I have a hard time doing it. I like to hear it. There is just nothing like it. I mean, in sport, I don't think you know. I think you can literally feel electricity. You know, when you walk out of onto the grid, you know, onto the grid from um, Gasoline Alley, you literally can feel it inside you, you know, with just everybody, that, there's so many people, but there's not just that there's so many people, but they're so close to to everything, and, and it's just, uh, 
uh, like I said, there's nothing like it that I can think of in sport, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's really special. What? This is probably an easy question because I pretty much know the answer, but why do you think the Speedway is so special? Uh, I, I think it's, it's all comes back to the tradition and what it became, you know, through all the years, the hundred years or whatever, you know, I think it just uh, became one of those major sport event, sporting events of the year around the world. Uh, you know, it's like the Kentucky Derby, it's just it's very special to that that uh, thing, Super Bowl, it's the Daytona 500, you know, it's, I think it's even more special than the Daytona 500 because of the real tradition and, and you know, it's just, uh, I think that's what it's all about. You got um, two board warners as an owner and um, would it take two board warners as a driver to equal the same or is it, you know, I, I've always wondered, you've been on both sides of it. Yeah, I think personally, I think it would still be more would be more precious precious to have it as a driver. You know, I think it's really really special to have it as an owner. But you know, I think there would be nothing like having that feeling of you know having it you know being the driver that pulls it across the finish line. But unfortunately, I'll never experience that. But I'm hoping you know another Andretti does either you or Marco uh, on Sunday or a couple yeah. Sundays when I. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess they don't have any replicas of the owners on the board Warner, so yeah, probably. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> not that I really care about that. It's just the it's the more special what it does for you inside, you know. And, and when you're a driver, I think it always just feels a little bit more special because you you are a direct input of, of the real result. Well, and as your age as a car owner, you could have a lot of those. Board board. Before the end of <laughs> yeah, I always say I'm coming after Penske, coming after you, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you have to have goals and you have to have somebody to shoot you do, after. And I mean, I, I think Roger is just, you know, what he's done for his sport and, and everything. I have the most utmost respect for him, and he's our, our benchmark, you know, and, and especially at Indianapolis. So, you know, got to set your goals somewhere. Well, you got five cars. Um, you're only, what, um, 28 short. Yeah, we're working on that. Maybe next year we'll get another <laughs> couple out there. <laughs> Got to increase the odds somehow, right? <laughs> that's what we always thought about with having four Andretti's. <laughs> yeah, right. Never seem to work out. That's true, yeah. But um, I appreciate you, Michael. Sure. We want to do more interviews with you as a month. I'm around. Remember to find me. All right. Thanks. Thanks.